Welcome to our tutorial video about the odds arrangement of our scratch and win coupon. Carefully follow my lead to ensure the correct approach. Download the toolkit in the video description to create the same scratch and win coupon as me. Are you ready? Let's go. Go to the dashboard and select create coupon. Select the second option, Scratch and Win. Select the first template. The Coupon Builder will open at the Scratch and Win tab. Within this tab, you'll find two sub-tabs, Prize Settings and Game Settings. Let's start at the tab that's already open, the Prize Settings. The first feature we come across is the Scratch Layout. It's the image you currently see in the preview phone. Click on the image below the label to upload another image. Always pay close attention to the recommended image sizes. Upload the Scratch image. Let's go on to the most critical settings of your Scratch and Win coupon, the winner layout and prize settings. These settings are essential because they're going to determine how many of each prize could be won during your campaign. First, you see the prize images. The image will only appear when the player has won that specific prize. Let's upload the prize image. You can either upload different images for every prize, or upload the same image and alter the prize text for every prize. I'm using the same image for my prizes. Once you have uploaded it, you can find it in the gallery. Once you've uploaded the prize image, it's time to set up the prize text. Initially, the prize text appears in the exact center of the image. However, there's a feature where you can manually arrange the prize text position, which we come across later in this tutorial video. For my prize text, I'm using $5 discount for prize 1, $15 discount for prize 2, and $50 discount for prize 3. Now let's go on to the most critical part of the prize settings, the chances and prize settings. At the chances, you're going to configure the odds of winning prizes. In this example, I'm using 600 out of 1000, or 60%, to win prize 1, 20% to win prize 2, and 10% to win prize 3. I'm expressing chances as a number out of 1000, but you can go up to a number out of 100,000 to express your chances. As you may have noticed, I haven't reached a total of 1,000. The sum of my chances only adds up to 900. That means there's a 10% chance of losing the Scratch and Win coupon altogether. You can also set up a maximum number of winners. Zero means there's unlimited winners and it strictly follows your chances calculation. I'm limiting my grand prize to two winners only. If the limit of two winners has been reached, the chances of winning will decrease with the percentage that's taken out of the odds calculation, in this case 10%. This means the 90% win rate will be reduced to only 80%. You can easily reset the draws for one prize by pressing the refresh button. You can also reset all draws at once by pressing on the Reset All Draws button on the bottom of the page. You can easily add prizes and delete them by pressing on the red trash bin. The final setting of the Prize Settings tab is the Lose layout. Here you can upload the image that pops up when the player has lost his scratch game. Don't forget to enter a value for lose text. Better luck next time will be my text. I'll click save before moving on to the game settings. The general settings are quite straightforward. Decide to show or hide your logo. If you decide to show it, you'll need to upload your logo. Enable or disable a sound while the player is scratching the coupon. Enable the Show Prize Text on Winner image and customize the text font, color, and size.
It's also possible to alter the position of the prize text. Typically, it's positioned in the center of the prize image. If you want to change this, you can experiment with the pixels to determine the best place for the text. For the win settings, you set up the percentage of the scratch image that needs to be scratched to reveal the image behind it. I'm putting it up to 75%. Choose to show an image at the claim page. I want to show the prize image. At the action after win, you predefine what happens when a player has won. You can either automatically redirect the winner to the claim page or display a proceed button. I'm using the redirection option after five seconds. I'll click save and move on to the lose settings. If a player has lost the game, it's possible to allow a predefined number of retries and when those retries become available. If you're not allowing retries, the coupon doesn't need to be reset, and thus it's possible to redirect the player to an external website. I'll click Save and we'll move on to Contest Rules. This is an area where you can define the terms and conditions for your contest. We'll click Save, and now it's time to preview the Scratch and Win coupon. When you try to scratch, the contest rules pop up. Click I Accept and start scratching. You see I won the second prize. I'm automatically directed to the claim page with the prize image embedded. Accept the terms and conditions and continue. Press Use Now to go to the validation page. Click on the validation button to successfully redeem your Scratch and Win coupon. I hope you've enjoyed this training video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the support team.